Howdy and welcome back. So I wanted to do a quick screencast previewing a new project from the sales crew called Treeline. So let's get busy. In the last two episodes, we implemented the slash signup request via sales blueprints and then a custom controller action. Today, I want to show you how I would do this in Treeline. So I have a Treeline project here, which should look very similar to a sales project because that's what it is with some very powerful additions. I've copied the assets folder from our existing Activity Overlord 2.0 project to the assets folder here. So we have the same front end asset structure, but I'm going to create the back end API in Treeline. So here I am in the main Treeline dashboard. We'll go to apps, we'll create a new app, and not surprisingly, we'll call it Activity Overlord 2.0. And the first thing we're going to do is create our model. Now, in the past episode, we created a user model. We'll add attributes to that model, the first being name. And notice that I'm going to add an example, and Treeline will infer which type is appropriate. Next, I'll add the other attributes, title, email, password, and Gravatar URL. So now that we have our user model, let's define the two routes that our front end requires. The first route will be get slash signup. This takes us into the circuit view. Since we just want to display our signup.ejs view, we can specify that in an empty circuit here. Okay, next I'll create the route to post slash signup. As you may recall, we first wanted to take the password from our form and encrypt it. We used node machines to do that. You can think of Treeline as the visual interface for node machines. So I'll just drag the encrypt password machine as a part that will fit on something called a circuit. And then I'll access the password field from our signup page via a route parameter. Next, we want to convert an email address into a Gravatar URL. So I'll search for the Gravatar machine pack and install it. And from within that machine pack, I'll get the get image URL machine and put it on our circuit as well. Now, similar to what we did with the encrypt password, I need to get the email address from our form and I'll do that with a route parameter. At this point, we wanted to make sure that we had a unique email address. And if we didn't, to let the front end know via a 409 status code. So I'll drag a find one user machine over to our circuit and look up the email address provided by our form in the user model. If a record is found, we know the email address is taken and we want to let the front end know. So I'll respond with a 409 status. If a record is not found, we want to go ahead and create the user. So I'll drag a create user machine over and start connecting the user model with the form fields. We'll do this mainly through route parameters. So for the name, we'll get the route parameter. For the password, we're going to actually get the output of our encrypt password machine. For the email, we'll go ahead and use a route parameter. We'll do the same for the title field. And finally, for the Gravatar URL, we'll use the output of the Gravatar machine. Okay, let's see all of this in action. So we've built the API in Treeline, and Treeline syncs the controller and model with our local project when I lift it using Treeline Preview. So let's head to our browser and navigate to localhost 1337 signup, which will make the get request to slash signup and our signup view. Next, let's go ahead and create a user record Nikola Tesla. Now let's go back to the signup page and create Nikola Tesla again and see if our duplicate email address message is triggered. And there it is. So this really just scratches the surface of the power of Treeline. In addition to the Activity Overlord 2.0 screencast, I plan to do additional videos on this new tool. If you're interested in using Treeline right now, head over to Treeline.io and sign up for the beta. As always, thanks for watching.